Greetings, fellow Earthlings. All right, bear with me. Going to give this a go. Realize it might be helpful to look at these little toy FPV units I zip around. Why they are set up differently, analog versus HD0, racing versus freestyle. So let's take a more in-depth look at my various 31 millimeter prop variations. Starting off, let's look at the analog race units. And pretty much everything I have, I have in a pair. Um, let's actually talk about the preferred battery first. The Tiny Whoop 270 is pretty much my standard in everything. Uh, let's see, Beta came out with, what is this, I think like a lava pack. 260 they call it, it's roughly the same, about the same weight, 90%, 95% the battery that the Tiny Whoop is, which is basically the gold standard. All right, one other key unit we're gonna need here is a scale. We'll start without the batteries. And this is the one I zipped around initially. Uh, for the, I think I did the first round of Ray Scow season three um, before I got distracted by <laughs> going outdoors and HD zero and all that jazz. Um, so this is my super lightweight racing quad, uh, 15.7. This is a not quite as good variant of it. Um, it has certain elements that this does, like the plastic screws, the, the peak. Um, however, like this just has the little whip antenna. This one has a better quality antenna. And of course it shows in the video I capture from these. Um, something as well, the motors, the Beta FPV 27K KV versus these Positronic Tiny Whoop. These are far less efficient. I get about a minute out of these, closer to a minute and a half out of the Tiny Whoop motors. I don't know why. All of my analog units, I'm using the Beta uh, G4 new flight controller, just the four in one because I'm a uh, Crossfire user. Everything has a Crossfire RX in it, which is great. What's that, an extra six tenths of a gram? Something like that, but what are you gonna do? Um, I like these uh, little light up LED things. I used to use the Beta FPV turnaround ones, but uh, these are a little lighter, plus they are fun colors. So yeah, these are great. Recommend 27K super light motor, um, pinch cam, whatever you can use. Most people are using ALRS these days, so it's a full five in one board, which completes this cross probably gives it a little better frame rigidity but you know what are you gonna do all right let's move on to freestyle rigs and these are a load of fun get the scale going again um, I have gravitated towards the 1.5 millimeter shaft motors um, again these 27 K KV motors are fantastic from Tiny Whoop. These are actually, uh, there's a glut of these Meteor 65 Pro frames. It's actually for a 35 millimeter prop, so I took some 40 millimeter, hand cut them down with a pair of, uh, pair of scissors. Kind of crazy. I think actually I just saw Jim Fan came out with a, a new 35 millimeter prop. I got to check that out. For freestyle outdoors, I think the big difference is I still use the old, um, this used to be in the dome. I'm using the new style mount and this is fun because it gives you a, like you're looking down the end of a pipe. But yeah, these, uh, these work great. Analog, uh, you like a little extra weight. I'm not trying to shave every half gram off. So the extra weight penalty of the thicker shafts, who cares? use the metal screws, who cares, use a 300 battery, flies fantastic. I get close to three minutes of flight time out of these things. Um, for outdoor season, I'll probably just use the, the outdoor, the old run cam Nano 3. I don't know why I put this on to try it indoors. It's way too fast, but I tried it. Switching 
to HD0. Um, my first attempt was actually with the Eco board and the Eco cam, and I had this mounted in a 40 millimeter uh, frame, um, or 40 millimeter prop, 75 millimeter frame. Didn't really like it, just kind of felt like a dud. As you can see now, I'm <laughs> I'm going to actually put a Lux cam on it, find a way to mount it in a uh, one of these and use it in a tiny trainer. But that'll be some other day. Another video for another day. Let's start with the racers in this department as well. Couple key things I figured out. Motors. Because of the extra weight of these boards, 21.7. These are supposed to be clone. Oh, they basically are, despite different motors. These are the Beta FPV ball bearing motors. I think they're supposed to be a little heavier. These are the 30,000 kV motors as well. Um, so yeah, both of these 30,000 kV. Similar situation, the Beta FPV are a touch more thirsty. I only get about a minute out of the ball bearing ones, though it sounds really cool. Um, the tiny whoopins, I get about a minute and 15 seconds of, um, let's call it inspired race flight. So yeah, these are great. Actually, kind of my first, aside from that eco board, these were my first real foray into the HD0 all-in-one. Um, I have kind of a janky way of taping up and mounting in my crossfires in these, but whatever, it works. Another key thing, because of this pin, it doesn't really work that great, I found in the, everybody's using these Meteor 65 Air. I'm using the original Meteor 65 frame. It makes it sit a touch higher. So when you put the battery in, eh, you feel a slight scrape, but if you have this in one of these frames, it's you've got to like physically push hard against the battery to get it through. So that's, in my opinion, not great. Uh, another frame that works well, the Wee Bleed frame. I really like to use these in the depths of winter because I find these are a touch more flexible. Um, you're going to be more prone to flex these, I don't know, maybe break a motor in that case, but uh, not crack it like you do with the uh, the beta frames. But anyway, food for thought. Alright, and then moving on to what have recently been for me the stars of the show. The all-in-one from HD0 Happy Model paired with a Lux Cam. Also paired with these um, tiny immortal T antennas just to get better range. I'm doing things with these. I don't do with any of the other quads. Well, maybe maybe with these and I was contemplating putting a similar antenna on these as well. But uh, yeah, to, uh, to get the kind of range I need, these have definitely proven very valuable. Sorry about the frame colors. This was all I had on hand. But uh, 22.5, 22.2, pretty close. They're roughly similar. Um, definitely the same motors. With these, I went even a step higher. The 32.500 kV motors. Again, because of that extra weight, you need the extra pop. Go with the higher kV motors. You won't regret it. Just make up for a little bit of that weight with one of the 270-ish milliamp hour batteries. It's a fantastic combination. This, I believe, is pretty much what I was flying in most of the video that uh, I posted recently, ripping around downtown with one of these. All right, check out Race Gal Season 3. It's fun. I'm probably going to get back into it now that Wisconsin is in the depths of winter. Probably be using something like this. Anyway, um, hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, all that various nonsense, and uh, cheers.